Today we have a new addition to the Triton family, the Triton 300. Without further ado, let's go ahead and break down just what this machine is. Design-wise, it's all metal, has a Z-height of 22.9 millimeters and weighs in at around 2.3 kilograms, making this a fairly portable device to carry around. And like most gaming laptops today, it comes with a buffet of ports, allowing you to easily use peripherals of your choice or hook up additional displays should you so choose. On the topic of displays, the Triton 300, like its predecessors, is all about speed. The screen is a 15-inch Full HD IPS with a 144Hz refresh rate and 3 millisecond overdrive response time, all of which are necessary if you want to play with as little blurring or tearing as possible. And at 1920 by 1080 Full HD resolution, hitting those high frames comes easy thanks to what's hidden away inside. Driving the performance is up to a 6-core 9th Gen Intel Core i7-9750H processor an overclockable GeForce GTX 1650, up to 32GB of DDR4 RAM, up to 2TB of NVMe PCIe storage in RAID 0, and a 2TB 2.5-inch HDD. So with all this beefy hardware, the Triton 300 needs to have top-tier cooling. With a dual-fan cooling system, one of which utilizes our 4th Gen Aeroblade 3D technology, users can push the performance of the machine to its highest potential. The Aeroblade fan is made of 59 ultra-thin all-metal blades measuring in at just 0.1 millimeters each. These Aeroblade fans have a bionic design, which was aimed at increasing airflow while reducing overall noise. And pushy performance is made easier with a turbo key which automatically maxes out fan speed and takes the GPU to its highest overclockable setting. Another key allows users to easily open our Predator Sense utility app with a single tap where you can monitor the system, control fan speed, and much more. In addition to all those settings, you can also adjust lighting for the 4Zone RGB keyboard, giving your laptop that look that calls to your preferences. Hi guys, Tom here with another ASUS feature video. This time we're looking at the hardcore ASUS Tough Gaming FX505. Made to change the way you look at gaming laptops, the FX505 not only boasts impressive hardware, but prides itself in its affordable price and durable chassis. In fact, the FX505 has passed a series of rigorous military standard tests, successfully surviving varying conditions including solar radiation exposure, high altitude, and temperature extremes. Not that we'd expect your next gaming session to be in the Arctic, but these tests prove that it's more than certified to endure day-to-day -day use. Surviving anything from accidental knocks to sudden drops, the FX505 has been pushed to the limit to ensure only the very best for gamers on the move. Now despite its durability and compact size, the FX505 packs all the punch of a top range gaming desktop. Powered by the latest AMD Ryzen processor and Nvidia GeForce GTX graphics, the FX505 is ready to take on any task inside and outside the gaming arena. With these top specs combined with the FX505's 6.5mm thin bezels and ultra-fast 120Hz IPS level panel mean that nothing can match its super smooth gameplay, minimal motion blur and intense immersion. Finally, the FX505's displays wide view angles ensure vivid and consistent colours, even when you're gathered around with friends watching your replays. Moving on to the ports, the FX505 has a whole host of ports to accommodate all your needs. It has a single USB 2.0 and two USB 3.1 ports for all your gaming peripherals, an Ethernet port for the best possible internet connection, as well as a HDMI 2.0 port to connect to an external display. Additionally, we've placed all the ports on the left-hand side of the laptop, so there's nothing to interfere with your mouse movement. Now, as all gamers know, as the battlefield heats up, it's likely that your system will too, but there's nothing worse than too much heat dropping your performance or outright crashing your system. That's why the FX505 features hyper-cool technology to ensure exceptional cooling during gaming marathons. This tech consists of the anti-dust cooling system, hyperfan, and intelligent parallel fan placement to keep your system cool and clean from dust, so no more mid-game throttling. Today we're looking at the new Nitro 7. This is a thin, sleek gaming laptop that is basically like a mobile battle station you can take anywhere and play on any time. 
So let's start with the device itself. The chassis has metal top, bottom and keyboard covers that give it a really refined look. The design definitely stands out. And the metal chassis also means that the Nitro 7 is thinner than most mainstream gaming laptops. It's just 199 millimeters thick and only weighs 2.5 kilograms, so it's light enough to let you play wherever you please. The adapter is compact, it's easy to carry, and it's smaller than most mainstream adapters, so this device is even more portable. Sticking with the outside of the Nitro 7 for the moment, you'll see a full range of ports for hooking up all your gaming peripherals, including a USB Type-C Gen 1 and an HDMI 2.0. The Nitro 7 also comes with Killer E2500, and that detects and prioritizes games and delivers enough bandwidth for you to wave goodbye to video freezes and latency issues. Okay, let's open it up. We can see it's got really narrow bezels. They're under 7.5 millimeters, and because of that, the screen to body ratio is boosted to 78%. The display itself, it's a full HD 15.6 inch IPS panel. It's got a refresh rate of 144 hertz, and in overdrive mode, you can crank up the response time to three milliseconds. And all that means you'll You'll enjoy smooth, blur-free gaming. Well, what about inside? What about the components? Well, the Nitro 7's metal shell houses a 9th gen Intel Core processor and one of the latest NVIDIA GeForce GTX graphics cards. There's also up to 32 gig of DDR4 RAM and loads of storage, so you get plenty of gaming power, your download times will be faster, and you can store all the game data you need. But that's not all that's inside. The dedicated NitroSense key calls up the NitroSense UI, and from here you can monitor your CPU usage, control your sound, your sticky keys, and your LCD overdrive, and you can also manage your cooling by turning on CoolBoost technology. And this increases fan speed by 10% and CPU-GPU cooling by 9% compared to auto mode. So that's a look at the new Nitro 7, and you can use it to boost the fun for yourself and your friends wherever you go. Take the game to them. The GF65 Thin is here, bringing great gaming performance in a light and compact package. Included in the GF65 Thin box are accessories such as the AC power adapter and cord, warranty registration card and user guide, and of course, the laptop itself. On one side of the brushed aluminum finished laptop, we find the power and HDMI ports, and on the other, we find two USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-C and another two USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports. Alongside the USB ports lie an Ethernet port, a Kensington lock port, and a combo audio jack. Top side, there's a backlit keyboard with multi-touch touchpad below it, and a 720p webcam in the display bezel. The 15.6 inch IPS level display panel has a 1920 by 1080 resolution and up to an optional 144 Hz refresh rate. Under the hood, we find up to an Intel Core i7-9750H processor, up to an RTX 2060 GPU, both kept cool thanks to our Cooler Boost 5 technology. It also comes equipped with an optional 16 gigs of RAM and expandable M.2 SSD storage to ensure a quick and fluid gaming experience even in the most demanding AAA game titles. Running benchmarks in Rainbow Six Siege and Shadow of the Tomb Raider on the highest quality preset showed Rainbow Six Siege averaging about 182 frames per second and Shadow of the Tomb Raider averaging 75 FPS. Keep in mind that our GF65 Thin used in this video is running on a GeForce GTX 1660 Ti GPU, so you can expect even better performance if you opt for the GeForce RTX 2060 model. The GF65 Thin is extremely light, weighing in at only 4.1 pounds, with dimensions of about 14 inches in length, close to 10 inches in depth, and less than 1 inch in height with the lid closed. Taste victory wherever you go with the GF65 Thin. This is the first of a new generation of laptops utilizing the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 with Max-Q technology. In order to cram such a high-powered GPU into a slim and light laptop like this, we had to totally rethink laptop cooling design. But before we get into the cooling and design features, why don't we quickly go over some of the specs. It's got an Intel Core i7-7700HQ CPU, 
The GPU is an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080. It's also available with a GTX 1070, 24 gigabytes of DDR4 memory at up to 2400 megahertz. 512 gigabyte PCIe Gen 3 NVMe M.2 SSD. It also features a 15.6 inch 1080p 120Hz G-Sync display. And it weighs less than five pounds. On the outside, it's got all the standard connections. We've got a headset jack, two USB 3.0, HDMI, power port. On the other side, we've got two more USB 3.0 ports and a USB Type-C connection for Thunderbolt and USB 3.1. The keyboard is positioned at the front of the chassis to allow for better cooling for the internal components and to offer more comfortable, familiar position when gaming. It has Aura RGB backlighting so you can customize the color and dynamic lighting effects. It also features anti-ghosting with up to 30 key rollover, and they've been designed with 1.4 millimeters of travel for greater comfort and accuracy when typing or gaming. So now let's talk about the cooling. When you open the laptop, the bottom flexes to create 20% more open space for air circulation. This improves airflow by up to 40% and reduces temperatures by 20% when compared to conventional GPU cooling. This means that you could game for hours without the GPU throttling back and losing performance. All these features add up to make the ROG Zephyrus GX501 an incredible gaming powerhouse that's thin and light enough to take with you wherever you go.